All right, hello and welcome. My name is Chad, and I'm going to be giving you an overview on Swartzando. Uh, what is Swartzando? It is a new free SFZ player from Plog. It's cross-platform. Uh, it has standalone VST audio unit in RTAS formats, um, and so essentially it can play your SFZ files, which is uh, open format for playing back uh, samples and oscillators and other fun stuff. So. Let's start here. So it says to start, drag a file, an SFZ file to start. Luckily, I already have a whole folder of SFZ instruments that I've already downloaded. Um, let's see, if you don't, go to the internet and type free SFZ instruments. And here you can see a whole load of free SFZ instruments that you can download and play inside this thing. Plug has been nice enough to catalog some of the really nice SFZ instruments on their website on ariaengine.com so you can find pianos, basses, drum kits, and all other sorts of fun stuff to play inside of Swartzando here. Okay, now back to the plugin. I'm going to grab this file that I already have, and you can see it loaded, which is nice. So. Let's go over the pages here. The first page is the info tab, and here you can see SFZ parsing details. So it kind of goes over some of the the major sections and opcodes of the SFZ format, the global controls, uh, master groups, region. It gives you details on how many of these things are included inside the SFZ file. Uh, this is handy for debugging purposes. If you want to see the last region that's triggered, it'll show up here. Um, it's also handy because you can click this button and open the currently loaded SFZ file in, in a text editor. And maybe if you want to make some changes, like I'll increase the depth on the amplitude velocity tracking here, hit save, and it automatically is reloaded inside of Swartzando. So that's pretty cool. So on the controls tab, you can see any type of MIDI controls or parameter and opcodes that are used inside the SFZ file that is loaded. They will appear here and um, they'll show up. So right here you can see parameter 01, that's modulation wheel, and here's some other SFZ specific parameters for velocity and uh, randomization. So. The next tab, we have the settings tab, which is uh, some settings here you can find for advanced users, uh, performance monitoring. Uh, it's also pretty cool because you can load uh, your own tuning files right here via the Scala tuning format. So for all you nerds who want to play in really obscure tuning and world tuning, so you can go ahead and you know load Scala files to your heart's content. All right, on the top here, you can see the currently file, uh, SFZ file that's loaded, any key switches. There's also controls for volume, pan, uh, tuning, transposition, and polyphony. And if you have any other ARIA products installed, you can actually see their banks here. So for instance, I can see the Chip Sounds bank and other Garden sample library banks that I have installed. So. In the standalone mode, too, you can also load your own MIDI files. I already have some loaded right now, and um, you also have the capability to record your performance. So I'm just going to hit record and hit play, and we'll see what happens. <laughs> CC1. All right, it's MIDI files done playing. I can hit stop and it's going to stop recording and I'll have a nice little audio file that I can drag into my audio editor and check out. Let's see here. Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> So this is a great way if you want to make some music on your computer and have fun with sampling instruments and uh, free instruments and sample files. So go ahead, go on the internet, download Plogue Swartzando, and rejoice.